So today we're going to do stir fry chicken, um, or vegetable stir fry with chicken. So lots and lots of veggies in it. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do our vegetables. We're going to move our chicken over here and we're going to slice it. We have to get all the vegetables prepared. Okay. So we have this is um, our choy. Yeah, bok choy. Um, we have celery, we have a carrot, we have snow peas, okay, we have spears of baked corn, we have a zucchini, um, and we have capsicum and some spring onions. Okay, so we're going to chop them all up. So pick the bok choy, I'm just going to slice it really thickly. We're going to slice all the way down and we're going to get rid of this piece here. So we don't need that. Piece. We're going to put that in our bowl over here. Next, we're going to do get rid of that yucky bit, slice our spring onions. Now, they don't need to be too finely sliced because this is a stir fry. Everything gets wilted in the pan. So we're just going to slice it up reasonably chunky all the way down until you get to a white part. And it goes in. We have six spears of baby corn and we're just going to chop them in half. Okay, so that everybody gets a little bit. So it's two, four, six. Okay, for our celery, we're going to chop off this bit down the bottom. It's a bit dirty, we don't want that bit. We're going to cut off all our leaves. Okay, we're going to slice down the middle like this. And we're going to slice. Once again, we're not going to chop it too thin. Too small, we want them to stay reasonably crunchy. So if you cut them too thin, then they're not going to stay crunchy. Okay, we're going to cut our zucchini. So we need half of the zucchini. So we put half of it over there. Slice it through the middle. It's a very good slice through the middle. We're going to make six. In there, and chop them up. Put our carrot up. Now, this is just going to be diced. So, you can peel it, but you don't need to. Um, I'm going to slice it down the middle. Okay, leaving the um, skin on because we're going to cook it pretty quickly. The skin's got lots of nutrients and we're just going to slice. We are going to cut this one a little bit finer because it's a root vegetable and it's um, a bit more dense. We want it to be a bit thinner so it cooks a bit better. We don't want it to be super crunchy. We want it to be a little bit cooked. Just do little half moons of our carrot. There we go. In it goes. Now we've chopped our... Um, capsicum out and we've taken all the seeds out. You don't want the seeds, they're bitter and you will not enjoy them. And once again, we're going to slice. Slice through, don't cut on the shiny side, cut on the inside of the capsicum. Um, and you don't really want this white pith either because that's quite bitter. Cut them in half. We're just going to cut up our capsicum. So you don't want these bits. So I'm going to get this bit at the end of and I don't want this bit here. In they go. And for our snow peas, I'm just going to take the tops off. And you can even do that with these and just pull off that top bit. You don't want that bit. Either. And then I'm just going to cut them in half. That's where we spread around the bit that we don't want either. Cut them in half and in they go. There's another spring on in there. Chop that guy up. Okay. 
in your clothes. So those are our veggies all chopped up in our bowl. What we're going to add to that is we're going to drizzle the oyster sauce. Get that open. Hopefully. Maybe get that open. We're going to add the oyster sauce, which is, hmm, there's it got two, a teaspoon, one teaspoon of oyster sauce to that. Okay. Those out of the way, and our soy sauce. How much soy sauce? One teaspoon of soy sauce. So that can go in. Just over a bit. Two tablespoons. Now I've already made up my vegetable stock. One vegetable stock cube makes up 200 mils. So we'll have this made up. So we need two tablespoons of vegetable stock. We need half a teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of ginger. And Oh, oh, no, Alright, so what we're going to do now is using a pair of tongs, we're going to toss that stuff through. Just going to coat. Coat all our vegetables with that yumminess and get them all covered in our soy sauce and ginger, vegetable stock, zucchini, spring onion, grated ginger, soy sauce, olive oil. All right, so now we are ready to cut up our chicken. We're going to bring our chicken over. We're going to slice up our chicken. We use our dedicated chicken knife, and we're going to slice our chicken. Okay, nice and fine. Slice that chicken up. Okay. okay. But we want it to cook quickly, so we don't want big, thick pieces of chicken. Okay? Want thin slices of chicken. I'm turning it over. I'm cutting with the grain of the meat so it's a whole lot easier to cut. You don't want it too thick. Up. All right. So there's our meat ready to go. Okay. So we're going to heat the wok to a high heat. So I've got a frying pan today. You can use a wok. Uh, this is quite a nice high-sided frying pan, so it works really, really well. Um, okay. We're going to add half of the vegetables first and cook. Then we're going to add the stock. Uh, heat the wok to add half the vegetable stock with the olive oil, and then we're going to add the chicken to the stock. How much stock? All right, so we're going to add some vegetable stock to our pan. Okay. And so 
some olive oil. Let that olive oil get to. Right, so two tablespoons of olive oil. Quite a bit of olive oil. It's actually quite good for you for the vitamin K. So we're just going to wait for that to start steaming. And we're going to add our vegetables. Garlic there. One garlic one. There is garlic. I'm going to use half a tablespoon of garlic in. There is garlic. I missed it. I was sure there was garlic when I looked at it the first time. I'm just toss that through. Alright, so it's starting to sizzle on top over here. So I've added liquid, uh, um, I've added um, liquid and oil together. It's going to sizzle in here for a little bit. And half of my veggies, get them going. And then grit half of the rest of the veggies. I'm going to toss that around in there. Now, because this is a non-stick um, pan, I'm going to use my um, spatula for this one. So I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes. And once we get started steaming, okay, once we get going and sizzling, we're going to add our chicken a little bit at a time. You've got to keep your stir fries moving. You don't want anything to sit on the bottom for too long. You want your stir fries to be quite crunchy, but you also want your food to be cooked. Okay, so we'll in. Get the rest of them in. Just keep stirring until it's all cooked through. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. One of the other things I have done for this meal is I've cooked a cup of rice. So to cook a cup of rice, you're going to get a large pot. You're going to put um, three cups of water in the pot. You're going to add your rice when it's still cold. Bring it to the boil. Let it boil until there's almost no water left. Once it's about 10 minutes. Um, and then you're going to take it off and just let it sit in the pot um, until it absorbs all the water and you end up with nice fluffy rice like that. So we're also going to cook a cup of rice with this meal. All right, so we're finished. We've got our stir fry here, nice and bright and colourful. So what we're going to do is we're going to serve up it as a meal. We're going to have some rice on the side here, the rice at the side, like that, about half a cup, three quarters of a cup of rice, and then using some tongs, and we're just going to stir that, get a bit of everything, bit of chicken, bit of veggie, and serve it up on a nice healthy dinner.